team to get confident in this business and ball put in. Isaac was waiting. Shifts onto the left side, hangs it up at the far post. Hartley, they've got a goal back, and we're going to have an interesting last 10 odd minutes. Goal checks his watch. Get back in position. It's not over. That's exactly what my thoughts are. You're going to have a very, very interesting last eight minutes of normal time. Corner comes in, defended well at the near post area at first, but then this stand-up ball is inviting somebody to just go and head the ball over the lane. Exactly what Peter Hartley does. My word, he's a man mountain of a captain, this lad, and he's when he's called upon, he scored an important goal to get them back into it. This is going to be a very, very interesting last eight minutes. Corner comes in. Oh! Sneaks in and gets it. Steinman to the rescue. Six minutes on the clock. And he's got the opening goal. He's been going on. Well, I said if Valske scores the first free kick, then it would set this game up. That has definitely set the game up. They only had 10 men on the park. Montgomery wasn't even on the park. Near post, in swinging corner, and it's put right into that six-yard box. And you've got to give Steinman every credit there. He's just used the pace of the ball and guided it towards the far post. But they've gone it. It's gone into the back of the net. 50% of the goals scored from set pieces. That was always going to be a threat. None of those players have come on at half time. Still waiting, still watching, just like we should. Mumbai City and Kerala, 1 0. Can Kerala Blasters hang on, or rather, increase their lead and prove a point? Yes, Sai Goddard. Quickly, just like the first half, Sai Goddard. Pippin coming in, and Pippin has equalized from a narrow angle. What a response! 20 seconds into the second half. That is unbelievable, if that's what the fight was all about, and what a response from Mumbai City. You can't ask for better, 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds into the second half, and this what's happened. A little channel run, the centre half doesn't go with Adam Lafondre. A little bit of intricate play with Sai Godard, and then a tapping, well not so much a tapping, he's had to follow the shot in. Second goal of this Hero ISL season for Bipin Singh. the international games start when they're in top form. Sahal sends this oh. one in. Oh. Punches the humid air in Goa. And Vicente Gomez has drawn first blood. Who would have thought chance after chance for Mumbai. But it is the Yellow Army which goes ahead in this cracker of a match. Pula, we wanted that shot to go in the top corner because it would have been a world-class goal. But instead, keeper makes a great save and then they don't pick up in the six-yard box and there's a free header at the near post area. Sahal's put it right exactly where he needs to in that near post area. Picks off Adam Lafondre, who's in the hole, and it's in the back of the net. What a game this is set up for now. Allowed to run by Devendra, asking Ortiz to get on the end of it. Skips around the challenge, just keeps the ball in play, does it? And looked like it might have gone out. No flag, and turned in from close range by Romario. Well, Northeast to convince that ball had gone out of play. The flag stayed down, and Romario, who we highlighted at the start of the game, could be a, a major plus point for SC Goa. Gets his first goal of the season and puts his side in front. Well, there you go. Well done, young man. First goal. Not going to get an easier one, is he? He's five, six yards out and just slams it into an empty net. But the question will be asked, was that ball in play? Nice movement. Devendra letting that go for Ortiz, and Ortiz did really, really well here. No, nope, that ball doesn't look out of play. And they don't deal with it, do they, Northeast? It looked as though they've got enough bodies there to be able to deal with it. Ashtosh goes and closes down. Just skips past the challenge. Nogueira, was that a shot? It doesn't matter, he's put it back into the danger zone. Here we'll see from here, no, full ball, no. Full ball, absolutely no way as that full ball crossed the line. That is the correct decision, a goal. Long swing from Subashish. One wheel with the flick, Roy Keane always tends to win those. Keeps going. 
Roy Krishna! Smash and bang! I think game on begun! Running away with it! 4-1! A double brace from Roy Krishna and Manveer! Well, what a night Roy Krishna is having and we... You know, we always talk about how it's almost as if he comes alive in the last few minutes. I mean, that'll go down as probably an assist to Manveer Singh. Returns the favour to Roy Krishna, assisted him on a couple of goals tonight. And he's just done so well. The defender's in a tough position because any challenge would have been another penalty. Shubham Sarang, he couldn't make a challenge. And Roy Krishna's too strong and too powerful for Odisha tonight. How far are we from that first Hero ISL hat-trick of season seven? How far are we? Steinman, Pilkington, Nero and a lot of power! And Pilkington is struck! It's been a wait, but he's been gold, really needed that. And he can sigh with relief. Pilkington slightly wincing, but he won't mind. The goal is worth it. I think we witnessed a little bit of this last night when Adisha had a little bit of spell of the game and then all of a sudden AT game one began, stepped on the gas, and that's exactly what SC's Bengal have done. Just at their moment, when you thought Jemshi Pro were just coming into the game and coming into a good part of the game, they've hit them on the counter. And it's not counter-attacking football that just hit them with half a chance by Pilkington, and he's beat the goalkeeper for power and pace at the near post. Top quality from him. Onward. He's giving Vinit Rai the confidence to play the game that we know Vinit Rai is capable of playing. Roy Krishna shrugging off a challenge effortlessly. Now Manveer from another tight angle. And this time struck with the power of Prometheus. Through Arshdeep, no chance once again. A stinging effort. One with his left, one with his right for good measure. What a man! Well, he had just built up Cole Alexander, he got brushed off on the wrong side of Roy Krishna. He once again provided the assist for Manvi, he just laid it out to him. I think the defender on this occasion thinking I'll keep him on his right foot because we know how dangerous his left foot can be. But this is the, this is the ability that Manvi has got now. He struck it, struck it hard, struck it low and asked questions of the keeper and the keeper did not have the answers to that. I mean, it's got to go down as a goalkeeping error, but take nothing away from Munbe when you, you talk about the young players and work the goalkeeper, make sure you hit the target. And he's done that, he's kept it hard and low, and the keeper's not managed to get down. Ball from distance, oh, that was moving. Wow, that was moving. And Cole Alexander, oh, and that has gone in, would you believe it? What a game! from Paul and then Cole Alexander Habas has got to change his halftime team talk. Wow, Plus, that's all I can say as Paul picked this ball up and he struck it. That is an absolute wonder strike and he almost deserved a goal. But then Cole Alexander, cool and calm and he's just placed that into the far corner. He's taking a little bit of pace off it, recognizing the keepers on the far side and that's a beautiful strike from Cole Alexander for I think his third goal of the season now. What a response. Well, all it takes is one moment. All it takes is half a yard. And we have a game on our hands. He puts the ball in this time, not a lot of space on it. Pronoy, Roy Krishna, Mandir, one touch, left footed effort. What a strike that is! Goes and dips like forgotten cursive and ends in the back of the net with the finality of a full stop. Wow, Manvir. One man in form, isn't he? Wow, Pulas. Wow. All the talk before the game was about Marcelino and then what the Mercurial man could do. As the throw ins come in, he was the original target, but his cross has evaded everyone and as it's gone towards the back post, 
I think Roy Krishna was opting to just play it out to Manbir Singh and Manbir Singh's just turned around into Marcinho and said, anything you can do with your left foot, I can do better. That is an absolute beauty. He scored one already this season with his left foot. But he's bent that in with perfection into the top corner. That is pure, pure brilliance from the young man. Nobody is saving that.